Daniel Perry, 17, when he struck up a relationship online with someone he thought was an American girl his own age. He sent explicit pictures of himself, but he was communicating with a blackmailer who threatened to send the pictures to his friends and family. Within an hour, Daniel had jumped to his death from the fourth road bridge. But now child abuse experts are warning he could be one of hundreds of victims. Here's how it happens, a transcript of a real online chat. Hi, ASL. It means age, sex, location. 16, female, you. 17, male, a lie. Then, within seconds, have you cam? A webcam. The victim sent explicit images, and so the next day, two times more and you be free forever. Thanks for making me want to kill myself. But then the threat... Remember, I have your video, so don't do anything bad. If they're speaking to a 14-year-old, they're saying, I'm 14, 15, are you interested in me? So uh, it's kind of introduction through the web as they would introduce themselves at school, except they're going straight for the sexual exploitation imagery and then the power and control. Seop says each of his 12 investigations has resulted in an arrest, often abroad. But 184 victims of blackmail have been identified in two years. Its message to young people, tell someone whatever you've shared online. You are not to blame. Tom Simons, BBC News.